Okay, so we're going to go over the hip and thigh region, starting with this guy over here. It's the tensor fascia latte. Tensor fascia latte. And we have the quadriceps, uh, like the name implies, made up of four different muscles. Um, over here we have the uh, rectus femoris. Rectus femoris and lateral to the rectus femoris, we have the vastus lateralis, which is right here. And medial to the rectus femoris, we have the vastus medialis. And if we were to cut the rectus femoris muscle and flip it over, underneath it you'll find the vastus intermedius. So the four muscles, again, that make up the quadriceps are the rectus femoris, vastus lateralis, vastus medialis, and underneath the rectus femoris will be the vastus intermedius. This muscle here and this muscle here, um, they make up the sartorius muscles, sartorius. And what you can't really see here in the inner thigh region, this is called the gracilis. That runs right here, vertically. And this muscle here and this muscle there, they're called the adductor longus. So when you do um, inner thigh lifts, you're working these muscles, adductor longus. Uh, if you, once we turn to the uh, posterior view, you'll be able to see the adductor magnus, which is just behind these. You can't see it from this side. We'll, we'll turn it right now. Okay. Make sure. Let's. Okay. So we have the posterior view of our model, and uh, as we mentioned, um, there was the adductor longus uh, in the anterior view, and the adductor magnus is this guy right here. This is the adductor magnus, <clears throat> and this is the gluteus maximus. And the gluteus medius, you can't see it here, but if I pop this guy open, it'll be running um, vertically just underneath the maximus. So you'll find the gluteus medius underneath it. And we'll go over the um, hamstrings, uh, which are made up of three muscles. Um, we'll look at this side, it's clearer. Over here is the biceps femoris. Biceps femoris. Uh, it originates from the ischial tuberosity and the femur, and once we go over the bone anatomy, you'll get familiar with where, um, where they are. And um, it actually inserts at the head of the fibula. So this again is called the biceps femoris. And we have this muscle here, which is called the semitendinosus, and originates from the ischial tuberosity and inserts at the medial surface of the tibia. So this, again, is the uh, semi-tendinosis. So for now, just remember what the muscles are called, and once you're familiar with the muscles, their relative locations, then you could go back and um, learn the origin and insertion for each. So again, this is the semi-tendinosis, and sem semi-membranosis lies underneath it, and you could kind of see a little bit um, hugging the tendinosis, which are the membranosis, and to me, it, it sounds like, you know, like a plasma membrane that, you know, uh, envelops the organelles of a cell. You know, tendinosis is the contents of the cell, and this is the membrane that kind of envelops the tendinosis. I don't know, that's how I remember it. So, semitendinosis and semimembranosis. And those three muscles, again, biceps femoris, semitendinosis, semimembranosis, together make up the hamstrings. Okay, so looking at the calf muscles, we have this big guy, which is called the um, gastrocnemius. And if you break that word apart, it sounds to me like a truck that carries gas, gastrocnemius. And then uh, we have what is called the soleus, which is this guy over here. Soleus is just behind the gastrocnemius. And over here, this is the um, fibularis longus fibularis longus, and someone wants to come in, so I'm going to wrap this up real quick. So fibular, uh, fibularis longus is right here, 